According to the Electrical Safety Foundation, almost 500 people are killed each year in fires that were caused by electrical failures inside the home. In addition, an average of 60 people a year are electrocuted due to issues with consumer products, most involving small appliances, power tools, and lighting equipment. To prevent this, look for warning signs around your house. Flickering lights and discolored outlets can be an indicator of faulty wiring. This is also true if your circuit breakers are constantly tripping. Be sure to inspect the cords and plugs attached to your appliances. If you see any frayed wires or damaged plugs, replace the appliance. When replacing, make sure the new electronic device or appliance displays a nationally recognized testing laboratory safety seal, such as UL, Underwriters Laboratory. Inexpensive off-brand electronics that have not been properly inspected are not worth the risk. Outlets located in bathrooms, garages, or outside the home should be protected with a ground fault circuit interrupter. If an appliance falls into a sink or is used in a damp environment, a GFCI can immediately detect the fault and shut off the circuit to prevent a potentially lethal shock. Aside from being plugged into GFCI outlets, take care that your power tool cords are well away from the work area especially important when using electric lawn mowers or trimmers. Whether indoors or out, extension cords should only be used on a temporary basis. Check the wattage rating on the appliance or tool that the cord will be used with. Never use an extension cord that has a lower rating and never use an indoor extension cord outside. Space heaters are popular standalone appliances that augment your home's main heat source. Just make sure your unit has an automatic switch that turns the unit off if it's tipped over. Is located at least three feet away from the flammable materials. Is shut off when you are away from your home or office. And finally, any electrical home repairs or renovations should only be done by a licensed electrician. When you're deciding who to hire, ask to see the contractor's license and insurance. This is not for the do-it-yourself handyman.